Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps has long recognized the important contribution that public health nurses make in assisting children with special health care needs and their families. Public health nurses are vital links between families and an often complex health care delivery system. This program will highlight some of the many ways public health nurses work in partnership with BCMH to provide family-centered, community-based, and coordinated services to Ohio's children with special health care needs. Even though resources are available in the state of Ohio and at the Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps, many children in need of medical care won't receive it unless someone in the community recognizes that there's a problem and takes action to get the child referred. Public health nurses play a key role in initiating appropriate health care and can help assure that care continues as long as it's needed. Well, when we first started trying to get help for Nate, we didn't know which way to go and Connie, our public health nurse, she stepped in and she knew the people to contact, she knew how to make the arrangements for all the things that we had need of. We had to, uh, she had to help us get involved with BCMH. We didn't know anything about this program until our county uh, health nurse came in and helped us. At the Ohio Department of Health, we're committed to helping children with special health care needs and their families. Although 5% of our state's children have special health care needs, many of them are not getting appropriate care. Some parents may not be aware that their child needs a medical evaluation. Even after medical care is received, parents need help sorting through the vast array of services that are available to them or in other locations in the city or state. Financial demands can be overwhelming to parents. Without someone to assist and guide families, the child might not receive the most appropriate medical care. She's a, a person that they can, can talk with, um, and sometimes they will tell the public health nurse things that they wouldn't tell another soul. She's a person with a health background. They know she understands something of what they're talking about. She knows where they've been, uh, and she's able to help them know where they're going. It allows me to use my network of, of people, both professional and personal, to help them provide and, um, for the services that they need. I just called the other day because a pharmacy in town has changed the way they do their um, the medications billing. They, and, and Carol led me to another pharmacy that would take care of the billing for me um, so that we would still be covered under BCMH. Helping children with medical handicaps get the care and services that they need is a major concern of Ohio's more than 1,300 public health nurses. These committed professionals are employed by local health departments and they work in partnership with the Ohio Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps. The public health nurse can, can start families on a road that can really bring a child to fullest potential by um, feeling um, confident and knowledgeable uh, as, uh, as the first advocates for their child and as the primary advocates through their whole lives. I first came in contact with the public health nurse um, actually by um, r an article I read in the newspaper and from there I had a number that I could contact so that my daughter could be screened for scoliosis um, here locally. Um, and since that time we've been coming to the clinic for one year and the public health nurses have been very helpful and have educated us in scoliosis, the treatment, uh, the use of a brace for the uh, treatment of the scoliosis. Public health nursing has a long and illustrious history of service dating back to 1893 when Lillian Wald and Mary Brewster opened the Henry Street District Nursing Service to aid inner city families in New York City. Growing social awareness of health and disease prevention at the turn of the century helped public health nursing to grow rapidly. By 1920, 11,000 public health nurses were serving communities all across our nation. Passage of the Social Security Act of 1935 committed federal resources to families in need and sought to promote the health of children in particular. Congress passed further legislation in 1954 to develop community resources for children with special health care needs. 
Over the past 25 years, public health nurses have participated in many significant initiatives by the government in this vital area of health care. For all the social change that occurred in America and Ohio over the past 100 years, serving children with special health care needs and their families has remained a constant for public health nurses. Ohio's nurses carry out that mission in many different ways, but we'll focus here on four key roles. Identification of children at risk is the first, and perhaps the most important step, in providing community-based care. Uh, they see children in clinics, they see children in their, uh, in their offices, they may see a child in a school system, or they may visit the child uh, for a home visit for some other reason even, or see a sibling. Uh, so there are many ways that the, the public health nurse has access to finding children with potential disabilities in the community. It's a uh, nice opportunity to be able to help families who have been worried about some some particular problem with their child or maybe they didn't even notice it but you notice it in another clinic and to be able to say to them I can help you find a doctor that will help you diagnose your child I can help you um, get payment for the problem because the, the parent may have noticed the problem but they've been kind of avoiding the issue because they don't know how they're going to pay for that child to be diagnosed very closely with the public health nurses in, in our community and, and at the outlying uh, facilities. They first of all identify the children that do require care and uh, second of all make sure that the care is implemented and the diagnostic workup is uh, carried through. Uh, we uh, provide the care but the care uh, is basically brought to our attention and, uh, and ensure that it's carried out by the public health care nurses. Once a child is identified and formally diagnosed, the public health nurse's second role is to ensure that the family can access services in an orderly and efficient manner. Public health nurses help guide families through what is often a complex and confusing array of service providers. I expect that the public health nurse is going to know her community, know what's available, and these are children who have more than one need, so they're probably going to need referrals to more than one agency more than one resource. They are the local contact. They are the local coordinator of services both in the health area and in the social area or an educational area. That they're the contact person for, the, uh, for, for our agency and for the team that is working with this child and that they have input. They have the local perspective, the community perspective that they can put in to this child's plan of care. The public health nurse is the person who can link these families up with any services involved in the community. Because that public health nurse is a specialist in her community and her county, she knows exactly where to go for what kind of assistance that the families will need. She knows all everything that's going on in the school. She knows all the school officials. And I feel that if she knows what the, uh, the plan is and with the family, then this child will be able to get the best services that, that she needs, not only for the family, but for what we as the medical team would like for that child but we may be helping them find transportation, um, financial assistance for, for the uh, different things they may need. We may help them find um, uh, different kinds of equipment that they may need for their child, even uh, respite care, babysitting, a number of different things that this family may you know, need. We get very involved with the families. We may, other family members may need things too and we help the uh, the other family members as well. So I think the service coordination is extremely important part of the BCMH program. Once the child is receiving appropriate services, the focus must shift to integrating sound health practices into everyday life. Counseling by nurses who are familiar with the healthcare system and who understand how to use local community resources is the third role of public health nurses. This counseling helps guide families making long-term health care decisions. The most valuable thing a public health nurse can do, I believe, um, is to give information, uh, to share information, um, and to also um, 
be very respectful of the cultural differences, be aware of the, the emotional turmoil that might be happening with families, being very sensitive to um, the individual situations of families. Um, it's very um, it's very important that public health nurses um, recognize those individual differences in families and uh, truly respect um, the strengths that those families will have. And each family has remarkable strengths. And those strengths will grow as time goes on. And the public health nurse um, can be a very important um, primary source of strength to those families. It's really been an uh, inspiration to all of us. And as far as the future, it can only get better. It can only get better. Uh, the more that we talk with Connie and just realize that there are assistance out there, the assistance programs out there, uh, it just seems, we just seem a lot more positive now. Public health nurses often advocate for the expansion of resources to meet the present and future health needs of the community. As their fourth role, public health nurses help families understand their rights and responsibilities, avoid intimidation by the system, find support groups, and become better informed consumers. The public health nurse is able to provide a lot of times that link that helps the parents then to begin to speak um, for themselves. Mrs. Schmall has attended a state level program that gave parents a lot of information on how to um, better utilize the program, how to, what their rights were as far as BCMH and other state funding. And once she got involved in that, she's been an advocate for other parents. She's helped other parents get on the program by telling them who to call and making referrals to us. A friend of mine who had, an, who had a premature baby, yeah, and I went, and that's um, where we really learned to become advocates for not only our children, but to help other parents become advocates for their children. Um, it, it was the, the first time I really heard someone talk about advocacy for your child. As the nurses um, establish that relationship with the family and they have, you know, they have assessed the needs of that child and the family, then they are able to um, become more actively involved in attending the IEPs and becoming more involved with the school and, and becoming a, a, like a liaison between the parents and the school faculty, be it the teacher or the therapist. An important resource for Ohio's families of children with special health care needs is the Ohio Department of Health's Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps. The mission of the Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps is to assure that children with special health care needs and their families obtain high-quality, comprehensive care and services which are family-centered, community-based, coordinated, and culturally sensitive. We got a new bathroom put in for me. We had a young lady here now who, who needed privacy, um, who was being carried and wheeled out to an outhouse where the mother called me and uh, requested me to help them put in a bathroom. So we got involved, um, the plumbers, the contractors, the physical therapists, um, everybody who could give us an hour or two and actually built an adaptive bathroom for this child, something that she could use for a long, long time. It might seem overwhelming to you, and, but you meet the right people, you project what you need the right way, you can do it. Another role of the Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps is to help families manage health care costs. Our public health nurse, Carol and Betty Bolt, both um, work to find us some extra funds to help pay for um, some eye visits that weren't covered because of retinopathy of prematurity. Those were pre-existing conditions and, and we had some problems with that. Um, so that was really great when Carol and Betty help, helped us because the medical bills have been outrageous. With an increasing number of families enrolled on either commercial or Medicaid managed care plans, the public health nurse faces an added challenge, 
helping these families navigate the managed care environment. BCMH relies on public health nurses to provide the guidance parents may need to negotiate with third-party payers to assure that quality services are provided regardless of the payment. It's just like a burden been lifted to be able to know that there was a way that most of these bills were going to be paid. And um, so I'm ever, you know, grateful uh, to uh, the organization, State Department of Health, and whoever's responsible for this program. Although many Ohio children with special health care needs can benefit from the services of the Bureau for Children with Medical Handicaps and public health nurses, the process can't begin until the child is identified and referred appropriately. Public health nurses provide that vital link to bring families and health service providers together so that the child may receive needed services right away. The ability to answer questions, the ability to provide information, the ability to direct people to resources for care um, can, can make their lives much, much better than just having um, medical care. These are children that have many needs and it might be medical, educational, and it's not easy for the public health nurse to come up with ways to meet these needs. And so we might put our heads together and look at national resources, state resources, local resources. And it's, the reward comes when you can finally find a service that this family will benefit from and they say thank you. It allows me to become friends with the family it, I've become a confidant to the family. It allows me to um, use my network of, of people, both professional and personal, to help them provide and, um, for the services that they need. Statistically, one in every 20 Ohio children has a special health care need. Our ultimate goal at BCMH is to ensure that all these children receive the quality health care services they require. But we're counting on community professionals, families, and advocates to work in partnership with our 1,300 public health nurses to continue to fulfill the mission that they started over 100 years ago. We look forward to joining that partnership as we continue to make a real difference for Ohio's children and families. There's nothing more rewarding or gratifying than helping a family to reach their optimum level. And it's, um, there's just nothing like it. Nothing like it.